Hi guys, I thought I'd come up with a video um, explaining how to convert an original mechanical speedo um, used on the AE92 Corollas. Because um, I'm in the middle of an engine swap at the minute and I'm putting in uh, a 4 AFE from an AE101 Corolla. And they use different speed sensors. So the AE92 uses a speedo cable because it's quite old, it's 1990. But on my 1994 donor car, it uses an electronic speed sensor, which uh, originally had a plug on the top here, and it's got sort of a magnet, and it provides a square wave signal to your, your ECU to tell how fast the car's going. Whereas, um, like I say, the AE92 has a mechanical drive there, which actually physically rotates, and that connects onto the back of your cluster. So I wanted to keep the dash original, but um, that means I've come across a problem. How am I going to use an electronic speed sensor with a mechanical dash? Also, I, will, I need to provide the ECU with a square wave signal or else it will go into limp mode. So I have found a solution, thankfully. So um, I've had to drill out the inside of this. So let me just put it in the vise so I don't have to hold it. So if I, if I turn the gear wheel, you can see that rotates there. So originally this had a magnet and all sorts of stuff in it. So I've drilled it all out. It looks a bit shit, but uh, it will do. And so this is a Brandt. Um, the, the company called, is called Brandt. It looks like they're a UK company, but uh, this is a speed sensor. So it's designed for threading onto your, your gearbox, sort of like what my original AE92 sensor looked like. So. That side threads onto your gearbox and then your speedo cable threads onto this end. And so you can provide uh, a square wave signal from a car that didn't usually or only had a mechanical signal through the speedo cable. But unfortunately, because I'm changing the transmission, I can't keep the original speed sensor, which this would have threaded onto. So because the, the diameter is a lot less than this. So it just, it just wouldn't fit. So I need to use this basically. I've got to use this plastic sensor. But what I can do, I can use the provided pin and I can put it in there. Put it inside. So see if I spin this round, it, it's a bit loose there. And then I can use this side, the female side that would have threaded onto the gearbox, because um, I want to use that side instead, because I want to thread the speedo cable onto it. So if I try, and it might be hard to line up the, the key, but to place that on there. Yeah, easy as that. Right, so now if I spin the bottom. You see that the top moves there. So it's transmitting through there and um, it's got all the electrical gubbins in here. I think it's just the magnet that rotates and makes a switch, a reed switch as it were. So for every rotation now, I believe this gives four pulses so that will provide the ECU with the signal it requires. And it also means I can thread my speedo cable onto the top, which I can try and attempt now. It's quite hard while I'm filming, but I'll try and attempt it. Bear with me, get that in there. All right, okay, I think I've got it. So I need to find a way of sticking this sensor down really, but. Okay, so speedo cable's on. So if I actually turn this, if I get the other end of the speedo cable, it's going to be quite hard to film it. But I'm spinning the gear at the bottom. I'm trying to do it slowly so you can see. But it's actually spinning the speedo cable now, which in turn will connect to the back of the gauge cluster. So that is problem solved. Sorry, it's a pretty boring video, but this principle should apply um, to anyone else who's gone through similar issues. If you're You've got an original, you want to keep your dash, your mechanical dash original, but you've you put a new engine in and it's got a, an ECU, it requires a speed signal, then you should be able to do something similar. All right, thank you very much, and I'll catch you later.